Jangan tidak naik jahil nari kini. Tidak tahu boleh ke? Tuan aku lelai sama kumarungo. Tidak merasa sudah mati. Tengah di kini wah. Kahulian nuya ini faya kau lelai sahi. Tidak minat atau pale mata sangat tiada atau kaya kefakaru. Beha kehaye atau kehui hui na. Tidak tahu orang aku. Tidak naik terang tidak ayu nego. Ina na hoa i kona wera mo na ya ko vesta honga me puta mai na ai ko te rai trees and te nei e trees and te na ina pa ko vui na mai noa tau ko le roi wa.
Mizaki.
Roberto Alfa Calongo, que es Tena, por Terán Asiana, por Pogi Harris. Tengo ahí este Teonero, de Cobero Wau. Es de Nala, ahí voy. Atlas, en el Native Court. Yo voy a cantar. He's making his ropu. The Fakapuna put a ropu. truthfully an account of this area where she lived all her life and notably Furunaki lowlands where they bought from Hori Tikuri in a 360 area of his lands. So all those lands where that mission house is, Mangungu Mission House, uh, 
uh, and uh, the um, uh, Methodist Church there that um, Manahi Parapara Mohini uh, Apotoro or uh, Ratna Minister holds his church services in that Methodist Church. He's in that church because Morris Baker, the incumbent descendant, bloodline descendant of Huri Tikuri, is occupied and settled inside the Ratana church there. The house is the Ratana church, seven metres by seven metres squared, with the haki or flag of T.W. Ratana inside it. That's got the name Tahege written right across it. So that tells me something. It has mana, mana whenua, the land title. On top of the hill of Hori Tikuri, paramount chief and commercial landowner with his name in capital on the legal title transfer documents to the Crown in England not here, or New South Wales, and transferred from his father, Ramaka, buried behind this church, Ratna Church. So the Ratna Church was built and emerged, or pioneered from this one Methodist church, and those British Navy family settlers on this piece of land and nowhere else. That's where they first came in. Signed the treaty right there in that mission house. I can report and record that the last Marae of the link in the puzzle for all the lands in New Zealand link that Hori Tikuri and Ramika to Referefa Manukau in Auckland Provincial area from below Lake Taupo in a line from east to west all the way up is this provincial land title, native land title area of these magistrate courts. The only foreign policy that's able to go from Britain to New Zealand and to the rest of the world blueprint comes from that provincial Auckland title connect that to this origin of Methodist Church there, the little Methodist Church, to the Methodist Church on Queen Street, opposite Aotea Centre, and they've gone and sold it when Mohi Manago and I were delving into it. All of a sudden, it got sold and flats went up. We're still after that little land block. I'm going to seize it because it is the church land. That's how they got that land and on solder with this Kuri Tikuri commercial land title. Now you can argue all you like about Rahidi and all the other chiefs, they're here and, and so forth, but they didn't have mortgages. They didn't have mortgages. That's why they've gone and popped this whakapapa right in front of Morris's nose and it's in the wrong place. They should have punked it in Waitangi on the Waitangi Treaty Grounds where their title of the Queen is. The King is the title right there with Hori Tikuri right at the top of the hill on the Urupa above Taheke Marae. Now I had a talk with Bundy last night, a heated talk, and told him outright. I don't need his support or anybody because I did this by myself all the way through the years, 20 years. And I've been with Kingi Toto. He hasn't been in the Confederation, uh, but he's been there and saw what I'm doing with Mohi Manaka. And I was with Mohi Manaka because I picked him out and he said, don't listen to that lot. And Mati Tarawa said, don't listen to him. Right? And, and so forth. They all said, don't listen to them, except Delby Wee Hongi. She didn't say that to me. She said, John, say what you have to say. 
you see? Because she was a woman, straight up. But she didn't have the brain of a commercial land title. None of them did. None of them did. Know how and what it meant with the flag they're flying. And said to Bundy, that flag wasn't meant for the Whakamininga in that way. It was meant for a paramount chief, Hori Tikuri, and a referee of Manukau, and his ancestor, Tirawakato Whare Hirehiro Manukau, contract. That is a commercial trading bank landowner contract, private contract, nobody's business. Two party contract with the king. That's why I'm speaking for the king in his absence as a Surrey king that put those titles together over the land to borrow money from a bank of England or uh, uh, the US dollar, which comes out of the pound note in the Rothschild Bank, Bank of England, to build cities, roads, houses and economies of scale. Basically business, cars and everything else that goes on in a uh, um, economic situation of trade between one country and the other. I did ask Bundy, oh, that flag's for trading from one country to the other. Why are you fly out flying it? I can take it off. Tell the British to take it off. You know. He said it was for to recognise their sovereignty. No, it wasn't. You've got your own sovereignty to talk about. You have your own sovereignty. That's why Napo is saying, we did not cede sovereignty. Well, that's true. But the flag is not your sovereignty. It's the king's sovereignty. That's what I'm holding on to. And I have the legal right to use it right in front of you. Just the same as the governments in New Zealand, New South Wales, is doing everything corrupted, fraud, right in front of your nose. And you're settling for less than 1%. Napo's going to settle for less than 1%. They've already made some settlements already. Tainui. All this. You're settled. You cannot play with money anymore because you're settled. Except Morris and his commercial titles with his name transferred from Hiramaya to him, from Hiramaya to Hori Tukuri, from Hori Tukuri to Ramaka. Capital names is another image of himself, the natural person that belongs to the native land. You see? He's occupying that land to look after it and not sell it. And that's what he's been holding on to. Morris has been holding the land against his family selling it or mortgaging it. And that's what's happened. They've mortgaged the land and I'm going to remove the mortgages and these titles off it and put it back in its deed title forevermore. Because that's the connection to Westminster Magistrate Court and Edinburgh Magistrate Court where all the native titles are here and the world from this They can talk and talk and talk till the cows come home, but they can't understand British titles. Go right over the world. This flag is going right around the world right now. Don't blame the Pākehā, blame yourselves. Because they only got instruments to 
They're going to get caught snack with this title. And Bundy said Morris is going to their hui's. I tell Morris what to do. Morris listens to me. He doesn't listen to you, fellas. Bundy, because he's lost faith in you. When you all left me, booted off to team arrived. No one came to my rescue. Only money his wife and Morris. They rescued me from being booted out. Now, that just shows that you're on your own. Here, I'm with the British, you're here with New South Wales. You can't reach into this king's title because I'm holding on to it. No one can talk that legal instrument side. You can only talk to the land that you're sitting on. You can't just sweep the whole lot and take the whole country without consideration for everyone else who's been following the law and other laws here. There are more than one law here from other countries to the United Nations. They have protections on that land because it's just one big land of the world. You either got the world title or you've got a little piece up on Ngāpuhi land because it's very difficult to join Māori together. It was an invention of the Pākehā. That's why they can spin it as much as they like. Now the Māori Party's gone, the Mana Party's gone, and the Māori Land Courts have been gone and knew that all along, that they got it into the internet now. Your, your land is for sale, Bundy. It's got a blue number on the gate, and that blue number is the milk can number, cream can number, turned into a ambulance number where they can find you before you die so they can grab your birth certificate and the hundred million that it's worth and spin it for themselves because they own the document. They own the document. We own this document and Ma Morris's documents from the commanding point on the top of Tahiki village and it's Marae and Hori at the top. He commands all his land, 360 degrees around, and all that land where the British settled on it, not Waitangi or Tite Marae. That's over here, New South Wales title. That's British title that Hori Takuri and Lefele from Manukau in Auckland, those two are locked together in a British title that I'm the native land commissioner of all over the world watching what I do. That's my job to put the record straight and sack this lot on this side. I'm going to sack that lot and the bullshit that Tony Harris is saying. This lot, Rudy Taylor, you're a big mouth Rudy Taylor. Always in the hui. You know too much about nothing. You don't even know titles and how that works. And there you are, talking your head off in Maori, and you can talk as much Maori if you like, but you can't talk English with documents that got it over you. You can't move until you remove these titles and these titles. You've got to remove these titles first on your side with your treaty settlements. That's a contract. That's your fullest contract here that's full of debt. In fact, a half a trillion in debt. That's your debt. This side with Morris has no debt. His land is his, his own to his chief and he commands the British settlement where that treaty was signed. That's his treaty. You got yours in Waitangi. You have to prove where you got that from. 
Where did you get that from? That's, that's for you to answer. Where did you get your authority from? Don't look at this one here. That's Morris's. He can talk for that. You talk over here, Rahiri, and all the other documents that you're playing with, your titles that you're settling with, the Crown, and leave this one alone. Leave this one alone because I'm, 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 I'm in control of these ones to Britain and Westminster. You can't go to Westminster here. You have to go to the United Nations, to the International Court of Justice, and then to the World Court in Brussels, and then to Westminster, where you'll find me, Morris, and uh, Mali standing right in front of you. And the British will say, I'm sorry, you, you guys go home and talk to Morris and these guys over there. Go to Tahiti Marae if you want to know anything about titles and commerce, money, banks and things that you buy and the petrol you put in your car and the car you drive, where that came from and all the other people living on the land with bits of paper. Without the bits of paper, you can't exist anywhere there. Okay, so if you go back to the Stone Age, with no documents, no contracts, and that's what I'm hearing, Pandi. That's what I'm hearing from you. But you're, you're trying to frame laws, that's fine. But what are you going to do? Who are you going to sell it to? I'm selling to the world here a concept of King's Common Law. Now, what law are you going to use here? You, you're going to have to use, use your, frame your own laws too and use them. On who? Who are you going to use them on? Yourselves. That's what it says in the law. The law of the land, any law, says <coughs> in a country that has a government running that is recognized internationally. The flag that we hold is international. You can't jump right into this law with no documents and a trail. That's what I said to you, Bundy. You've just hopped on it just recent. I've been with it all along. So I've got a string of paperwork, a string of 106 Facebook sites, a string of 1,350 YouTube videos explaining you see, what the hell I'm doing here with this flag. And you've got nothing to show with the flag but to recognize your own sovereignty with that flag. That's all you're holding it for, you told me. You told me on the, on, on, uh, uh, that you're using the flag for no other reason than that the king recognize you and your own sovereignty. Why have the flag if you, you're saying Napoli never see his property? Well, why did you need that flag for? What for? You see, you're waving around a flag that's the most powerful flag in the world of money, commerce and banks and everything that builds economies of scale. It makes no sense you having that flag. That's why I said I'll take it off you. The British, I'll, I'll write a letter to the British, take it off you because you're not using it properly for what is purpose. That's why you, every Māori is poor, like me too, because haven't figured out how to use it. I'm showing you how to use it, but you fellows are running off. You run off and split your old me off from Manahi and Morris. We're, we're over here talking a lot of sense that the British will listen to those documents and those titles, not yours over here, that have been strung together on myths and assumptions of titles that are not real. You yeah, made it up, that memorial, with the Papa all over it, sure, the chiefs, 75 of them signed over there. They signed in that mission house, not over there. This is 75 chiefs on that day, signed the Treaty of Waitangi for those British people living there, the original ones that sailed in there. Right? The same Russells made that deal in the Busby's. They sailed on the other side, but they already made the contract here with that chief Hori Tikuri. Not over there with Rahiri and everybody else because Rahiri doesn't have contracts or mortgages or bank loans. It never was out with all that whakapapi you've got on there except Rameka and Hori Tikuri. That you follow the sucky, the living daylights out. I'm saying to Morris, stand up for your own tupuna and tell them to clear off the land. Clear off. Take your memorial and take it to Rahiri. Take it, take it to Rahiri. Manga and put it over there.
and see if that works. Because that's where the fucker papa goes. It goes away. This is a commercial man, Hurichikuri, with his names and capitals, transferred from Ramika, his father, transferred to um, uh, Hiramai, the son of Hurichikuri, transferred to one Lobo Morris Baker. Incumbent. Commercial landowner. He's the only commercial landowner that I see on these British documents and that flag meant for that. That's the flag flying on his car. That's more prominent. And the Kuri, the Kuri that was sitting at the front door looking out on his haunches for the money here that never turned up to that Hui on the 18th of November 2017. No descendants turned up. They were all at Copthorne, Friday and Saturday, with Pody Harris. All the Harrises, everybody was there. Really, really tell all those people were there in this jurisdiction. The Treaty of Waitangi, one percenters. The ones who take little, one percent. That's what you're worth. That's all you're worth, Rudy Taylor. One percent. Less than one percent. That's all you're worth. All you treaty people, did you find all of you fellas there? You're only worth less than one percent because you're talking to this jurisdiction, not the king's jurisdiction, hundred percent. Hundred percent will wipe the whole off because they made the titles for these ones, fashioned the titles to defraud the king. And the king wipes them all out, the same as what Hornet did, cut the flag down, the British seized all the titles and the South Island titles, those French titles, they seized the whole lot. They seized all the Nafu's titles, the New South Wales titles, and reissued them. And they're just about to be seized again. We're going to wipe the whole lot off you again and put them in that Taheke Marae and the Ongawaka Marae in Auckland for referendum for Manukau there and Te Rewaka to Wharehere with Manukau from 1830 to 1834, the flag here to there to Horitakuri in Taheke and that's it. Nothing else. The British over there and Moira Hoffman will be party to that one first and second partnership. She's my first and I'm the second with Hori Takuri and with Morris Baker as a second party, two party contract to Britain. Moira Hoffman and me and Hori Takuri and Morris Baker and Referee for Manukau in Auckland and Manahi, Parapara Malhini and me, the partnership to Te Rewakato Wharehere in Manukau and King George IV and King William IV and Referee for Manukau there, contract. They had a contract. Pomare didn't have a contract. Referee for Manukau had a contract and Hori Tikuri had a contract with the capital lands on the document. Reverend Ever Manikau's receipt is on the front of this book and that's that. That's that. He has the overriding New Zealand title to the whole country under the British legal authenticated instruments in that book. That's why we're taking Cook Street. We're seizing Cook Street on that basis. And I'm just putting all the letters together. The gift to Manahi, he's a JP, just a little piece. He's Ratna Minister in the right church, the Methodist Church of the Mangungu <coughs> Mission House in Mangungu on Taheke Road. They put Horeke there, but it's Taheke Road in the Taheke District County of the Hokianga District Council. And Kuri Tekuri, Paramount Chief, Commercial Landowner, and Morris, the incumbent, descendant to speak for him and no one else. I'll put that on the record, this video, site fact evidence, that Morris has got his name in capitals, transferred from Hiramai, the son of Horitikuri, the son of Ramika, on through the title deeds of British origins.
to the signing of the Waitangi Treaty document, British straight, not this side, British straight from there. It went to Waitangi and went on this side with the Queen and fraudulently tampered with this title. When all else fails and the title has become corrupted, this side, Hori Tukuri and Morris Baker, Manahi, Parapara Mohini and me, Hoani Kahaki Wahanoa, Native Land Commissioner, shall seize these corrupted titles back into the King's Bench Native Magistrate Court. There. In a story. In a story. And reissue new titles. That's what we're doing here. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. No, they've finished the court at all now. I want to hear Pody, uh, so that I can tell the Morris I heard it on the radio. So I think Marianne uh, uh, Baker is listening. Or Marianne uh, Hedema Baker. She's from Ahibara. She's got land block on top of the hill. In fact, she has more than that one little land block. We know how that works. Lobo and I will go there when we get a bit of time and I will do the same thing over there because Hori Tukuri goes right up, right up. That's a British title. We can say anything about Hori Tukuri. We can go anywhere. That's our business. That's not anybody's business. Those documents. And the British title in this book is our business. You stay on this side with your whakamininga, buddy. You're just beginning to put together laws. That's what I've been trying to do for years on Titi Marae, and it just fell down. When I can't do it, nobody else can, because everything that happens with the word Maori on it, Maori government, Maori this, Maori this, will fail. When the Maori land court goes, you've got nothing. Those titles will disappear, because they're all online. All that land's for sale. It still marches on. You have to shoot them out with your musket. That's the law you got is the musket. Hongihika is the musket. That's the law. Boom, boom. I heard it on Radio Toto. Boom, boom. That's the only law you have to get your land back. Musket law. That's what Hongi had. He didn't have a written contract. He had the muskets. They can shoot everybody with the land, including the Moriori. Shot them. I know who shot. Who shot who? I can see, bro, pecker, pecker. I know all that along there because I've got it all written down. I wrote flat out. And everything Maui said, I wrote flat out. It's all the notes I've got and all the history out of his mouth. But he was going down the Ratna track from that little church that uh, Morris is living in. I'm sleeping in that. House is a church, seven meters by seven meters. And I'm thinking, oh, we don't have to go to church. We're already at church every day. Five days I was at church, seven days, went back again, spent another five days in church, having our own little car here. See, nothing further than the truth. And so, Manahi is in the right place as an apotoro in that Methodist church in Mangungu Mission House. They own all of that land there that they got off Hori Tikuri. Native title made a contract to sell the land to the king. Not the queen. The king was there before the queen. So, where did you all get your titles from? Where did you get your authority from, Bundy? You're going to land up on this Hori Tikuri, on these documents. If you're playing around with deeds, this is all these are. These are not deeds. These are <coughs> Lynn's titles, New South Wales instruments that are dependent on this making that from the treaty. Before that video runs out, I don't want to say. Hello? Hello? Oh, no, it didn't ring. Uh, so, 
Um, I'm saying this. Manahi is the apotolo for the message church that started the Ratna church up the road on the Tahege Road. Everything happened on Tahege Road. And all the Tahege Road going all the way, that's all the boundary on this side of the Hokkien Harbour where all this British settlement went on in Firinaki with the Russell must be family before they went on the other side. They already made the deal. They already sold the land to Morris's two brothers. So Morris is the only one that can speak for Hori Tikuri on that hill and that Whakapapa is secondary. That stone should be on Raeli's hill because the Whakapapa is over there, title. Not that hill where they stuck it. I'm going to find out who put it there. And Bobby's saying Hongi Hika. No, Hongi Hika didn't put it there. It's done in 1953. Those Ruka and that uh, Birch put it there. Those Birch family and the Ruka family put it there and right in front of Morris's nose. Morris can have it removed and put on Rahili's Hill or somewhere else because it's got a temple on it. It's got no cross of Britain on it. It's got something else. Muslim or something else. Buddha or something else. That's offensive to Morris. Whatever he says goes. Okay, this is the mischievous. Iwi Maori. Runanga trusts doing that to make money out of Morris's Tupuna, Hori Tikuri, and Ramaka, and Hirama. You see, that's what's wrong. With your titles are defective, buddy. Your titles of all the land blocks that you have under the Lynn's New South, New South Wales, New Zealand government is bad title. It is bad title. One bad title, all bad title. We go back to square one on this side. That's why <coughs> the power note is going to whop the lot of you on this side that's walked off from us. Bundy, you walked off from us. You walked off and didn't catch me and save me beneath the popos. Your two putters watched to do it. You are doing your proclamation for you, Bundy. Brand new. I've been under that popo for years. I've never seen you there fighting for the Whakameninga and the Confederation because I'm in the Confederation. I've got all the documents proof that I made the minutes for Mohi Manaka, the creator of the Whakameninga, before the 1986 constitution was put together by one Tsunikora who calls himself an Ariki, but working with the Labour government and Sir Geoffrey Palmer. There, there's where the fraud started, the Maryland policies that fashioned the Maryland titles into what it is now, one big scam fraud. And that's what Pody said. One bullshit. All bullshit. That's all it is. Bullshit. That's how they make money, from bullshit. Spin and keep spinning and keep spinning and keep spinning the Maori around because the Maori belongs to them. the Queen. The Maori belongs to the Queen. And when she when she's gone, and now the Maori's are spinning around by themselves with no Queen. But a picture of her. And they still say honor the treaty. Well there's no treaty. It's fraudulent. It was fraud when you tampered with it. It was alright when it was at uh, Mangu, it was perfect title. But when it went from there to the other side, that's when the fraud started. You can't talk for this land. Only Morris can talk for this land because you've got your own land in other parts and your tūpunas on your land. You talk for your tūpuna and your monga and your urupa memorial title to that land. The same as me and my tūpuna in Tikiti and Te Aroro, Marangai. I talk for my tūpuna on my monga right up the top of the hill in the poor Tiki or Kiwai Pu area. That's about 500 square kilometers of area of one chief. Straight to Britain. That's why the Rogans married our Tupunas to put together the British title down there and the Manukau's. To married into the Manukau's and the Kaipara Harbour to put the Hokianga Harbour and the Waikato Harbour titles together under the Manukau name there and the Wanoa name down the east coast. You see what I mean? That's the British title. And um, Morris is underneath the Leifunapa Manukau title in Auckland 
<coughs> Tell them to walk on my eye and take them like that's it, that's it. That's British flag, that M34 decoration war flag on you lot on this side. You're going to get the bullets of power notes on your head because Bundy, you don't like money. Well, the money's going to make everyone pay a trillion pounds each head. Unfortunately, your head's in amongst that lot trying to sort it out and start a new phase. <coughs> Starting new Rupus is a bit late. We're off, we're gone. You can't go to Westminster with what you've got, bits and pieces, second hand, wrecking yard. Wrecking yard, that's all it was set up with, a wrecking yard, to grievances of land st stolen or lost land. On this side, this land you're lost. On this side, this land we own. Commercially owned. That's different. There's a bits of paper. These are bits of paper too. So you're settling with these bits of paper. Well, they're selling one percent. And most of your Napoleons are going for the one percent better than nothing. Better the devil you know than the devil you don't. Your devil is the queen. We have no devil here. The devil we know, the devil we don't. You see? So you're calling us devils? Or not? Bundy's saying, we support you. Bundy, I don't need your support, mate. I've been on my own with Mohi Monaco and this trail too long. I don't rely on anybody because they let me down and walk off. And that's what you did. You and Hilary walked off and left me for dead on Titi Marai. And I got shoved out like a bulldozer by Hama Apiata. That's not even his land block. I've got the title there to shove you fellas and seize it under the Ututonga title that's on Marx's titles, the Ututonga, right? I've got the one house of the whole Bay of Islands, Ratland, and I'm um, well, I'll do that to these British titles with these British settlers in Taheke and Furunaki, guess what? They're going to agree that that's correct and seize the whole bloody lot. You are taking a second hand, third party. Bundy, you've got a problem. You've all got a problem trying to resurrect something that's dead and holding the flag over here when it's over here. The British gave it to this lot, not you lot. You carried it and forged that memorial with all the fuck up of in front of Morris's, Morris Baker's.